Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. Brandon Perea is a multi-talented Latino in the industry. Not only was he a star on Netflix's hit show, The OA, but he's also considered one of the top jam skating prodigies of today. The Chicago-born actor always had a passion for roller skating and dancing. Like most people, he learned how to skate on rentals, but with his breakdance background, he blended the two talents together and became the youngest professional in jam skating history. Now that he's grown up, he's skating with the honor roll skate crew, which broke out on America's Got Talent. So get ready to groove because the crew is right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. You're on American Latino. Today you are the Platino Papi. <laughs> Brandon Perea. I'm 22 years old and I've been skating since I was like 11. I'm Jordan McQuiston. Um, I'm from Kokomo, Indiana. Uh, I've been skating for about 16, 17 years and I'm the dad of the group. I'm the oldest. <laughs> I'm uh, Hunter Collins. I'm 25. I'm from Florida and uh, I've been doing the skate thing with these guys for a little bit past too long. I'm Diamond Walker. I'm 29. I'm from Kokomo, Indiana and uh, I've been skating for 15, 16 years and uh, still loving it. Yo, what's up, guys? We are Honor Roll Skate, Skate Crew. Crew. We are Honor Roll Skate Crew because we are the it's top more, of the line. Yeah, it's more sound than really stand for anything. Yeah. We, we talk about it a lot. Like, <laughs> we don't really know if it sounds like it, but it looks cool, so we're like, we go with that. Totally. We came up with the name while driving in a <laughs> rental SUV from Atlanta to Florida, and someone was just like, Honor Roll because there's rolling and wheels and they're like, oh, with it. Tony yeah, Zane, yeah. and he's not here with us We're today. like the best. Well, we that sounded like he was dead, he's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> he's just not here today. Yeah. <laughs> you miss him though. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tony. 15 names, 150 names, got 100 roses, you got game. For me personally, uh, I was always a break dancer. My dad always taught me the basics. And then the local roller rink was our, our little nightclub as little kids. So we'd go over there and then I'd try to battle everyone and be like, I'm the better dancer than you. I will eat you alive with my moves. And then I saw females skating and dancing at the same time. And I was like, I'm gonna get these roller skates and I'm gonna win their hearts and their love. <laughs> I never won their love, but I won the love for skating, you know, <laughs> so there's that. And then these guys, I met them along the way because I looked up to every single one of them because they were always at the events winning all the competitions and I was like, dang, I, I gotta be them or like I gotta meet them. And then I started going to events, getting noticed, and then they're like, hey, you wanna be a part of this? And I was like, roller skating, grown men, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We actually travel pretty often. I mean, that's kind of like what keeps us together because it's kind of like what, what we do now. Um, we've done a lot of things. We do a lot of corporate gigs. Uh, you know, big companies, when they have like big get togethers for all their employees, they'll hire us for the entertainment. Um, we've done NBA halftime shows. Uh, we've actually been everywhere, like Germany, China, um, all over the States, yeah. Australia. I think for all of us, we, we never thought that skating could take us like to where we're at now, you know, so it's it's truly a blessing that, that we get to see and do things that we probably never would have without our skates. We, we are something to look at as dreams can come true. You could literally do whatever you want because we break dance on roller skates for a living. We make a living in Los Angeles doing this. So I think if you put your mind to anything, you can literally do whatever you want. I remember being a little kid just being like, one of these days I'm gonna make money break dancing on roller skates. And my mom was like, okay, honey, you, you go for it. <laughs> and good thing I had a supportive family because now I'm here doing it today with these guys.